Hi guys again. Um, this is the gas station that I was talking about. I don't know if you can see it. That's where I started working. And uh, I talked about uh, the owner of that gas station, what kind of scumbag he was. I want to tell you another shitty move that he made. I only worked here for a year. And uh, I started around July when the, when the winter came. It got really cold here. And uh, I just show you, there's a booth right middle where the pumps are five by six area and you get in this booth that's where you stay so 8 a, 8 p.m to 8 a.m like uh coldest time of the day like i'm staying inside that booth freezing freezing my ass off like uh, countless nights and literally freeze your ass off and then I'm like naive. I don't know why this place doesn't have a heat. I never even thought about it. I really thought that, you know, like there's no heat here. So I decided to go buy a, like electric water heater. Nothing bigger than this. Only there's a one ring. You plug it in. It gives some kind of heat, but it doesn't heat up the... Uh, the booth but if you're like really freezing you can warm up your fingers that's all it is because you're pumping gas outside and your fingers are freezing that was the reason I, I, I got that water heater but this guy every time comes in he sees that water water heater is on he unplugs it he leaves, I put it back on. He comes back, he unplugs it. It went like this for a while. A couple of weeks. Only time I'm like a comfortable, at, really at, at night, like a, when he's not here. It doesn't even heat up the booze. Anyway, one day he came came into that place as soon as he got in that booth he saw that water heater was on he unplugged it and I got pissed off and I was like yeah, can I ask you something I've been thinking about this only reason I can think that you keep on unplugging this either you don't give a shit about us or you just worry about that we using electricity and then you don't want to pay for it. But I'll let you take thirty dollars every fucking week, which is it won't cost that much at all. Not even close to that. Nothing more than probably like it three, four dollars a week or five dollars just say. I said take thirty dollars out of my pocket. Just do me a favor, don't unplug this. I'm a human being, man. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm freezing all night. Can I fucking warm up my hands at least? And he goes like, uh, uh, he flipped. He goes like, uh, who the fuck you think you are? Here we go, we start again. Who do you think you are? Are you the boss or am I the boss? Like, And I was like, what does that have to do with it, man? You tell me. All I want to do, warm up my hands. No, I'm freezing. I'm freezing all night. He just got mad and then he left. I plugged it back on. But it doesn't matter. You know. You know that he's getting mad. So what are you going to do? Right? Believe it or not. Like a, three years later. After I quit. One day I came here. It was winter. And one of my friends was working. Pumping gas here. So I went into booth. I was like, what the fuck? It's like a steam room. Oh, they install a heater, heater here? I was like, 
And the guy said, like, uh, told me, there was a heater all that time in that booth. But this scumbag take the circuit out so we won't turn it on. All that time, I worked a year in this place. All that time, there was a heater in that place. But can you imagine this guy coming, taking that circuit out so we won't put, to put it on? What kind of scumbag will do that to a, a person? You know how cold is this place? Snow outside, freezing. And then I'm like in it, wondering why am I freezing? So that will give you a hint what kind of scumbag he was. So forget this guy. He did a few more things, but I'm not going to get into it. So I'm excited working in this place, start making money, collect the money. Friday, Saturday night, a lot of people, they, they dressed up, get into good cars like a Mustangs, Camaros passing by, and then they burning tires, and then drag racing, all that stuff going on. I'm like a sitting in the booth and then watching them, right? I'm like a wondering, uh, how am I going to have all that stuff? I want to be like that. I want to have good cars, fast cars, and make a lot of money, start a life. Anyway, um, I also met my wife at, at this gas station. I'll get into that later. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, there was a lot of girls approaching me here. I mean, every day and every other day, like somebody, somebody just say something. They want to take me out uh, to parties, all that stuff. But keep on talking to me. I don't understand most of this shit that they're talking about. But they were, they were inviting me. Some of them was like uh, pulling the shirt down and showing tits and then mooning. And uh, trying to talk to me. A few of them uh, try to, you know, do... Um, blowjob all that shit but I was away I, was, I, was, I wasn't involved with anything but most of the time not most of the time besides girls a lot of faggots was approaching me too there was a lot of faggots here so a funny story I'm going to tell you guys one day I'm in the booth at the car stop right next to that pump and I got out and asked what they need. And then this guy told me he wants regular foot up. I put the pump and then he's smiling at my face and it's constantly smiling. Like, oh, I look weird. Like, why are you smiling? And then he's trying to talk to me. I don't understand what he's saying. So I walked back in the booth. So when I didn't pay attention to him. He went back in his car where he parked. You can see him. Like, I'm inside the booth. There's a window. He can see me, and I can see him. He went in the fucking car. He took fucking his dick out. And he started jerking off. And then looking at me and smiling. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? I got really mad. The way he smiled looked weird, all that shit. And then I wanted to call a cop. But I'm thinking, how am I going to explain, you know, like, uh, what this guy is doing? Well, I knew the masturbation is a masturbation in Turkey, too. The same word, but the pronunciation is different. That we say is a masturbation, right? So I called this cop, 911. I gave the address. I said, uh, Route 37, Shell Gas Station. They ask me what was going on. I'm like, uh, somebody masturbation, I'm saying. Somebody masturbation. Somebody masturbation. Probably guys got really annoyed. They try to understand what I'm saying. <laughs> and then when they figure it out, like I'm not going to be able to explain, they decide to send a cop here. So, um, but cop came really quick. So where the entrance is, the guys on that right side, cop turned his light off, headlights off, and came from the left side, pump at the first pump. 
I mean, parked at the first pump. So he got out of his car and it came like a secretly right next to my booth and then he asked me what's going on and I, I pointed at him like this. Somebody must have us you know, I'm still saying the same shit. And then the cop went all the way behind his car, like say so he can't see him. And then when he came next to his uh, uh, driver window, he had a flashlight on his hand. He just like started tapping on the window. And then he looked, that faggot turned around and saw the cap, cop and then a panic and they stopped covering up, right? I'm inside the booth and watching this come back. And the guy, the cop was asking a lot of questions, all that stuff. And then I called my uh, boss. Jerk off, <laughs> and um, cop is talking to him. He's telling me what's going on. So the boss asked me if I wanted to press charge, and then I said I don't give a fuck. I, I just want him to get the fuck out of here. And then they send and send him away. So uh, and there was some other one. He was coming into this gas station every day. He had like a bucket uh, full of water. He has like a cleaning products. He was pumping right where the curb is, buying a gas, and that pulls right right next to the curb. And he was washing his his car inside out. And then at the meantime, like a, every every minute that he can catch me between uh, from customers, and he's trying to talk to me, you know, like he's saying something. Asking questions, all that stuff. 90% I don't understand. And one day the scumbag came, the boss, and saw him uh, hanging out here. And then he, he, he kicked him out of here. So I, he got rid of it. I couldn't. Uh, I feel sleepy, right? It's 4.15 4, 4 in the morning. I can't sleep. I guess I can't sleep. So, I don't know if you guys enjoyed this one because it's kind of shitty. Uh, I'll watch it. And then if I like it, I'll keep it. If I don't, I'll make another one. See you guys.